Okay. This is what we're going to do. Then we can do, uh, this is a growing vault, for example, we have barrel vault. We have a lot of this uh, classic language uh, that we have lost. So we are going to do this and we are not Brunelleschi or Alberti or Michelangelo. So we are not uh, doing this anymore in modern architecture, but uh, I'm going to show you modern buildings in which they are using these kind of elements, okay? Uh, so probably a pendentive is not uh, something that we use when we are talking about uh, more contemporary architecture, but uh, I'll show you how modern architects uh, have dealt with uh, this kind of uh, geometry to create mm. contemporary architecture. So, but first uh, we will uh, learn the basics of this geometry and then uh, I'll show you how to apply this to modern architecture. So open uh, a Revit file and uh, well, I have created uh, levels. So I'll show you what levels we are uh, working with and what the uh, kind of grid uh, we are working with. Uh, so you have time to, to do it. You can open a new file or you can delete uh, something that you have in, the, in an existing file. Uh, but to be on the same page, uh, let's work with the same dimensions that I'm working with here, okay? So first I have uh, grids, okay? So I have a few uh, grid lines here. What's the distance between these grid lines? So first we're going to do something, uh, okay? So it's 18 feet by 18, okay? So if you just create uh, two grid lines, two vertical ones, two horizontal ones, and the distance between these two grid lines is uh, 18 feet. Uh, that's fine. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing here. I have that one. Copy. 18. Okay, so I have this square and it's a... So I have these eight and nine uh, grid lines. And I'm going to do uh, this, uh, all this here, but I'm going to do it in another uh, grid line. But the basic dimensions are 18 by 18 feet. That's the square. So if we look at the pendentive, uh, the geometry, it's uh, quite simple. I think it was here. Yep. So we have a square and then we have a circle around the square, okay? Uh, so this is it, the square is gonna be the 18 by 18 grid. And then the circle, uh, the radius of the circle is the diagonal of the, of the square. Okay, let's do it. Um, so if I want to create a circle here in this square, I would use uh, model line, this diagonal, okay? And that will be uh, the, yeah, so this is the square and then the circle, uh, this is the midpoint and this is the radius. So I'm going to create the circle uh, here, okay? And, um, I think the best, there are different ways to do this. I think the best way is uh, working with uh, masses. Okay, so I'm going to work with uh, massing and site. And uh, I'm going to just work with the uh, in-place mass. Okay. And uh, we set the work plane. Just check that it's uh, level one because we're working at level one. And I'm going to create a circle. So the circle, the midpoint, it's on this line. And then the radius, it's the, the end point of the diagonal. There you go. Okay. Don't finish mass because we have to do a lot of stuff with this mass. Uh, so what we have so far, it's uh, the circle. In the 3D view, we don't see the grid lines, but uh, well, they are there. Now, if we select the circle, uh, we can create a form. 
So if you uh, click on create form, uh, we have a solid or void, let's create a solid. And now when we have circles, we have two options. We can either create a cylinder or a sphere. So I'm going to create a sphere. There you go. Okay, so we have the, the sphere here. And again, do not click finish mass because I just need half uh, the sphere. So if I want half, uh, I just uh, I go back to level one. And uh, I'm going to create a void form now. Okay, so I can uh, select a rectangle. Uh, so make sure that the my sphere is within uh, that rectangle. And then on the 3D view, I select the rectangle and create a void form. Okay, when you create a void form, you don't have options. You don't have a sphere or a cylinder. It's just a... So you move it down and make sure that the sphere, again, is within that void form. Okay. And uh, then we can finish mass. There you go. And here we have half the sphere. Okay, so this is gonna be uh, the first, it's not the dome yet, it's just uh, this. And then we have to subtract uh, these elements to create the pendentives. Uh, how can we do it? Uh, we go to level one, and uh, as you can see, we have the this element. But if we want to create this shape, okay, you see, uh, we have the we have the half the sphere at the beginning, and then we have uh, created this element here. So we have subtracted uh, this part from the original sphere. Uh, so we have to create another uh, void form to create the, the pendentives, okay? So there's an intersection between the, the rectangles we are going to do now and the sphere. And then when we subtract this, uh, we will have these circles and then we will have the, the, the pendentives there. Okay, let's do it and you'll understand. Uh, so there you go. This is what we have. And um, I think I'm going to uh delete all these because it's bothering me okay and i'm going to save it just in case don't do that i opened a, a template uh, uh i did it wrong so remember that you have to save a project but i'm saving a template it's my fault okay so i have already uh, saved this and now what i want is to create a void form uh, to cut uh, this part of the sphere that is out of the grid lines it's uh, quite easy so i have to select this one uh, edit in place. Let's see if it works. Uh, then I want to create a rectangle. Okay, so uh, I make sure that the rectangle is here. Now on the 3D view. Okay, so now we have to create a void form of this rectangle. Create void form. Then we can go up. Again, make sure that the rectangle is what well, can be up to this point. But uh, yeah, so the part of the, this is the part of the sphere that we want to cut. We finish mass and there you go. Okay, I'll do it again with another uh, rectangle. If we want to subtract uh, this part, uh, go to uh, select this, edit in place, 
I create a rectangle here. Okay. Now go to the 3D view. Select the rectangle. Create a void form. And just, uh, well, just make all these void forms the same height. It's not necessary, but I think it will uh, simplify things when we look at it. Because every time we edit the, the mask, we see the, the original shape and we see the void forms that we have created. Okay. Uh, so this is it. I finish. And there you go. So we, you see that we are here, we have the two sides of uh, that pendentive, okay? So on level one, and now we can do the same, but we're going to move it faster, okay? So select this, edit in place. Now I'm not going to create a rectangle because I want to create a void form that starts here and there. Okay, I've got this shape now. And on the 3D view, I want to select the shape, create a void, move it up to the same point, and uh, finish. There you go. Okay. So now we have the sphere. It's not a pendentive yet because uh, we need to subtract uh, this part uh, so that uh, we will have a triangle with curved uh, elements, with curved sides. So we have two sides, we need the third one here. Uh, if we look at the model, uh, you see that we need this circle, and then we need to take away uh, the, the upper part of, the, of that sphere, uh, so we will create another void with this circle here. And how can we do it? Uh, this circle should be tangent uh, to the circles that we have here. And this is uh, basic geometry. If the side of the square is 18 feet, from this point to that point, it's 18 feet, the height is nine. Basic uh, geometry, okay? So um, if this is half the circle and the diameter is 18, the radius is nine. So if we go back to Revit, that's why I have created all these levels. And I don't like the east elevation. I'm going to work with the south, okay? Uh, so you see, this is a uh, level one. So we have been working on level one so far, but now I have to create level nine. Okay, because uh, if this is a circle, if the diameter is 18, the radius is nine. So if you are working with this 18 by 18 grid, uh, then we have to create the level at uh, level nine. Okay, so now I'm going to move to this level nine. 
and we see the uh, mass here. Okay. Uh, so on level one, on level one, yes, I created a circle. I'm going to do it with the reference line. Circle. And the radius of that circle was the diagonal. Okay, so that was the basic shape. I had the first sphere and then I have been uh, subtracting things. But now to create the, um, uh, the second circle on level nine, the radius is nine. Okay, so I'm going to create a circle here. And the radius is nine. So there you go. Okay, so you see that we have uh, this radi this uh, circle on level one. This is level one. And we have this circle on level nine. Okay. And this is the pendentive. Now we see that we have the triangle and we have created the pendentive there as we have in the model. But this is not enough because in uh, the rest of the, okay, so we want to do this. Uh, we want to subtract uh, the cap of the sphere and then we have to build a drum and then we have to build another dome uh, there. So we have to subtract this part of the original sphere. Let's do it. Um, how can we do it? Uh, we can edit the editing place. We can edit the mass. Uh, on level nine, I can select this circle. Okay. And okay, I select this circle on no, sorry. I have to set the plane on level nine. Okay, now I can select this circle and now I can create a void form. Uh, the void form, it's a cylinder. Make sure that this cylinder is beyond the the sphere, that's fine. And if we finish, I think it will work. It does. Okay, so you see that now we have that element. Okay, so we have removed uh, this curve here, this, we have removed it and we just have the dependentives. Okay, so now we do have the uh, dependentives there. Uh, what's next? Well, we can add a drum. Do you remember that the drum, it's a cylinder that starts here at the, at the, this circle that we have just created, and then we have to go with the cylinder, we have to go up. And then there will be another uh, circle here, and then we will create the, another dome. So let's do it. Um, so we have to start at, uh, we are at level nine now. Let's work on the south elevation. 
And yep, this is it, okay? So we have uh, done this at the beginning. We have the sphere that was like this, and then we have cut first the sides and finally the upper part of the of the sphere. Uh, but now on level on level nine, uh, we have to work uh, with a circle. Uh, we are going to create another mass. Massing inside, uh, in place, mass. Okay. Make sure, I just want to make sure that we are setting things on level nine. Okay, so it's uh, the right place. If we are on level nine, most likely we'll be working on level nine, but uh, just check uh, by clicking set. And now I'm going to create another circle. And this circle, the center is the same, is uh, that point, okay? And now the radius is this, is the same circle we have there. Uh, so now we can select the circle itself, we can create a solid form. Yes. Okay. We can create a solid form. And here we have two options. We can create a, a, a dome or we can create a, a drum. A drum is a cylinder. A dome would be a sphere. I'm going to create a cylinder in this case. Okay. And now, uh, well, uh, the height of this drum, I have decided that it's going to be, uh, if this is nine, uh, this is uh, 4. Uh, 4.5, okay? So it's just half uh, the, the, the height between the first and the second level, between zero and nine. So I have created this level at uh, 13 feet and six inches, uh, if I'm not wrong. Uh, four feet and six inches is half nine feet. I think, yeah, I think so. So that way I have created this level uh, 13 feet, six inches. And then I'm going to, the trunk is going to be like this, okay? Uh, and now on the 3D view, I finish the mass and there you go. So now I have the pendentives. I have a drum. I have created these three levels. Level, well, I'm going to rename them. So that's level zero. Yes. Uh, that's level nine. And this is not level 10, this is level 13, six. Okay. So this is uh, level one uh, with the circle and the square. Then we have removed this part to create, uh, well, this sphere that now doesn't have these elements. So it's uh, in a plan, it's within that square. And then we have removed everything above level nine. And then from level nine to level uh, 13 feet, six inches, uh, I have created uh, this drum. Okay. What's next? On this drum, uh, what we have is another dome. Okay. Uh, let me see if we have a better picture. It's, uh, yeah, like this. Okay, so we have the pendentives, a drum, then we have a dome, and then we will have a lantern. Uh, I don't like, well, 
this is it. Okay, so we have pendentives, a drum, a, dome, a drum, sorry, and then another dome. Uh, so this is what we are doing. If you know how to do this, uh, you can model um, half the buildings of the in history of architecture. Okay, so they all they are all based on uh, circles, triangles, uh, pendentives, and domes. So. For example, if you want to uh, work in Italy, uh, you need to know how to do this because in Italy, basically, they are done uh, building new buildings. Well, let's say that because uh, everything is built and everything is uh, protected because it belongs to an outstanding architect or it's an outstanding example of uh, so you can't uh, do anything on it, but, but uh, restore uh, the building or refurbish the building back as it was uh, when it was built. Okay, so if you are an architect in Italy, you need to know this kind of geometry because your daily work is based on on these kind of things, and you have to uh, do something on this dam. So you need to know that that geometry. But this is the basic. Every time we have a a dome with pendentives, and as you can see, there are thousands of from. Uh, Hagia Sophia in Constantinople uh, to the all the Renaissance and Baroque buildings that we have in Italy, they are all based on this uh, geometry. Uh, so we are here in the 3D view. Uh, so we, we need to build the final dome here. Okay, uh, we are now, remember that we are now on this level. We are on level uh, 13. Uh, six. I don't see the level here, so I have to go to view, plan view, floor plan, uh, this one, level 13 and six. There you go. And uh, we don't see anything. Why? Probably because the view range is not the right one. So I'm going to make it the bottom unlimited. Apply. Okay, so now we see the, the circle there. We see the circle, but I have lost the reference line. Why? Oh, probably because it's a uh, solid. Yep. Okay, uh, so now I have to build uh, a dome and I'm going to use massing inside again. So I'm going to use massing inside. Uh, in place mass. Okay. We are on level 13 and 6, but make sure that we are there. Yeah, we are on this level. And now we have to build another circle from the center up to this point. Okay. Now we go to the 3D view. We select the circle. And what do we have to do? We have to create a solid form, but now it's not a it's not a cylinder. It has to be a sphere. So solid form. And here we can select. Yeah, we can select either this one or that one. I'm going to select the sphere. And shall I finish mass now? I'm not going to finish mass because now I have a sphere, and I have to get rid of this uh, part. Okay. So on this level, I want uh, another uh, rectangle. And on the 3D view, I want to create a void. Oh, I have to select the, the rectangle. And now void form. And I want to move down. Okay, I want to make sure that. There you go. And if I finish mass now. Okay, sometimes you have to select uh, this option, cut, 
and then you have to select the void form, this one. It's the other way around. Uh, I have to select the void, then the sphere. Hmm? Or I have to select first the sphere and then the void. What? Okay, I'm going to do it again. Select this, edit in place. Um, I'm going to draw a rectangle, set this on level 13 and six. I'm going to make it bigger now. Then I have to select the rectangle. I have to create a void. I have to move it down. And finish. Okay. Probably uh, the other one was too small and that's why it didn't work. Okay. So now I have made it bigger than the circle and it works. Uh, are we done? Not yet. Uh, well, uh, we can be done if this is what we want to do, but sometimes we have a lantern. Okay, so in most of the domes, we have in this, uh, in Hagia Sophia, we don't have the, the lantern, but in other domes, we do have it. Okay. So in St. Peter's Basilica, we have the same. You remember? So this is the pendentives. Then we have a tram. Then we have another dome. And on this dome, then we have the, the lantern. Here. Okay. So this is what we're going to do now. We're going to uh, cut this and then we're going to create another cylinder and then another tiny dome here okay and we can go forever but um, i think that would be enough okay so this is the, the model uh, to do that we need a, another level there so what's the level what did i do well i tried to think uh, like uh, those guys of the renaissance uh, would think so everything is based on the modules and everything is uh, based on simple geometry, but with very uh, defined modules. Uh, so what I'm going to do is to create these three reference planes. And this is going to be the size of my uh, my lantern. Okay, So it's not just any circle here. I divide this into three parts. And then one third of this, it's the size of the Of, uh, of the lantern. But we have to work on level uh, 13. And, okay, so let's look at the levels now. We are on the south elevation. Yep. Okay, yeah, so why did I do it? Uh, let's work on the, on this. And now we are going to create uh, reference planes. Okay, so I created those reference planes here, but now I want to create a different, uh, the same reference planes here. So how can we do it? Architecture, reference planes. And the only thing I know is that the distance should be, if this is 18, we can divide uh, 18 by three and it's six, it's easy. But imagine that it's a number that it's not that easy and we have to divide this into three uh, segments at the same distance. So we have the first reference plane here, the second reference plane 
there. Okay. Uh, make sure that you name the reference planes because if you don't uh, name them, it, they don't work. So this can be horizontal one. And this can be horizontal two. And now if we want the same distance, we have to go to annotate, align, one, two, three. Okay, the numbers are different. If we click here, EQ, they are at the same distance. Okay, we have to do the same uh, on this direction. So we have this uh, horizontal one, horizontal two. Now we need a vertical one, vertical two. So it's an architecture reference plane. The first one, the second, the vertical one, vertical two, annotate, align, one, two, three, four, and there you go. Okay, so now we have these reference planes and we can uh, draw the circle like this. Okay, but what's the, the level? Uh, so that way we need to look at the section again or the, the elevation again. So uh, we need to uh, place this level at the intersection between the reference plane and the circle here, you see? So this happens to be level 22. I'm going to name this on level 22. Okay, so on this level, I'm going to build the, because a lantern is just a tram and then a tiny dome. So I'm going to build this tram on this level on level 22 and then it will go from level 22 up to level well why did i do this um i'm, I'm, I'm uh, trying to put myself in the uh, mind of a renaissance uh, architect what uh, would he do uh if we have nine half nine half I'm going to use the, the same modules, okay? So if this is uh, nine feet, this is uh, four feet and six inches, then uh, I want the same distance from this point to that point. So if this is 22, this is four feet and six inches up. So this is 26 and six inches, okay? Just to keep, the ratio between the uh, oh, that's not good. So we have created, we are here now. And uh, this drum, the height of this drum is the same as, as this one. Uh, and uh, we have to work now on level uh, 22. Yep. We have to work on level 22. So I'm going to open level 22. And I see this, if we make it wireframe, wait a second. Okay. Uh, so now I have this reference and now we can build uh, this circle on level 22. So let's go to mass again, massing inside, in place, okay. Uh, set, make sure that we're on level 22, okay? And now we have to build a circle from, mm, I can't snap here. Okay, no problem. Cancel mass. Uh, so I need another reference line because apparently uh, this line doesn't have a snapping point. Doesn't matter. So I'm going to architecture model line. 
and make sure that we are on level 22 and we just need a reference line here so that this would be the, the midpoint, okay? So now we'll go back to massing inside, in place mass, set, make sure that it's on level 22, circle. Now we can snap here and uh, the radius is three, okay? Now I can go to the 3D view. I can select this circle. I can create a solid form. Now it's a, it's not a sphere, now it's a cylinder. And then on the south elevation, I can move it up to this point. And finish. And now what's next? We just need the tiny dome uh, closing that space. So let's do it. Uh, what level is that? Uh, it's level 26.6. .6. Do we have it here? No. So I have to go to view, plan view, floor. Huh? Oh, it's level 12. Okay. It's, uh, yeah, it's there. I'm going to rename it uh, 26. And six. Okay, so now I can go to this level. I need to go to mass in place. Uh, okay, make it wireframe. Now we can see this. Uh, set, make sure that we are at level 26. Okay, another circle. There you go. And we select the circle, we create a solid, and now we have to select sphere. There you go. And now this is a sphere. Uh, we should uh, remove this part. Uh, how? Uh, go back to level 26. Uh, let's create a rectangle bigger than the circle. Uh, let's select it, create a void, move it down, make sure that the sphere is within, yes, yeah, let's move it down to this level. And I think now we can finish. So we are done with this. Okay, so we have the same element here. Uh, the beauty of uh, Revit is that these are uh, pure uh, geometry. If we want to make it solid, we can. How? We just have to go to massing inside. We have to select wall by face and now this uh, this is solid okay so now all these elements are solid and if we take a section uh, view section What hell is this? Mm -hmm. You see this review? I'm going to work with the section box. Uh, 
Okay. There you go. For some reason, uh, we see here the solid elements. Probably this is the wall. Filter. If I hide the mass, okay. So I didn't want to see that for some reason. It's working here because here I, I can see only half the, the dome. But uh, this section is not what I wanted to to see. Anyway, I'm sure uh, we can fix it. So I'll I'll find out uh, how to fix this. Okay, so here. What if I had this in here? No. Okay, that works well because here we don't see the the rest of the sphere, but in the other one, I don't know. I don't know why. I'll I'll find out. Okay, but this is what we uh, wanted to see because here it's working well. Okay, so this section is correct because we're just uh, looking at the at the section element. If we select this and if we go to overwrite graphics and the cut patterns, uh, we make it black. Okay, so it works. If I do the same here, hiding view, no, sorry, overwrite graphics. Cut pattern. And this one, the same. Cut pattern. Okay. So this is what I want to see. I want to see that this is the section and the rest of the space is uh, hollow. But I don't know why this is working. This is working and here it works. Okay, so now apparently it's, uh, it's working well. And we don't show the rest of the, the circle. 